Hi, my name is John Bryce Jr. and uh, today I'll be showing you how to get through the Wheel of Crota Strike, mainly the Omnigo part. So, let's just get right into it. So, right here, Omnigo will be seen. Um, you don't do much damage to her. You'll end up teleporting into the back of the room and eventually to the next area. So, this part is mainly just killing any enemies that she spawns in. It's really simple, nothing too hard to, uh, to do. Um, especially if you're higher than level that you would be easy to play this at or if it be level 26. So once you defeat all those enemies, you get to the main area where you start fighting her. Now this part is room five just because of all the ads or enemies it spawns in. So it's pretty much a clear and then target her type of math. Stay in would be the first room right before you enter where Omnigo actually is because naturally cover and most of the enemies end up towards you it allows you just to take them out and then focus your fire on Omnigo. Now if you look in the bottom left hand corner you'll notice that two out of three of my weapons have the blue or looking like logo and that means that my weapon has arc damage which is a blue type of effect that it has. It gives it an element of And Omnigo has an arc shield, so any weapons with arc will easily take down her arc shield. So any arc weapon you have sniper rifle, um, I happen to have the Fate Ringer, which is a aid weapon that has it. Any weapon has it will be able to jam fairly easily. And uh, it's been just focusing and firing on her. Use my Hellhorn rocket launch on her just because it deals a lot of damage once her shields are down. That's the main point is you want to make sure that her shields are down enough that you will be able to kill her. As, other than that, it's just clear, clear the room of as many enemies as you can and then make sure that everyone's focusing their fire on the goal once her shields go down and you'll have the mission beat.